Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Walter Gets Buzz by Pigeon Hill is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. As we're talking to the dog. Um, you couldn't knock the camera all around. Maybe. Yeah. So this is Walter Gets Buzzed. Um, I don't think you're going to like it that much. Okay, thank you. So, uh, my screen went off. It's all right. There we go. We've heard so much about this. So I've had it before. I've had it at the beer festivals. Um, this is a blonde ale, but it's brewed with coffee. Snickerdoodle coffee. Snickerdoodle coffee. So if you read the can. Got. And it's a five. Five percent. Yep. And 15. fifteen IBUs. Yep. So, um, Jessica, if you've been watching for a while, Jessica likes some of the other Pigeon Hill beers. Most of them, actually. Yeah. But I didn't I get think... to try the IPA one that you did the other day without me. That was nice of you. Grapefruit. Oh. Yeah, you wouldn't have liked that. Well, I like IPAs. Uh, you wouldn't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like this one either because, oh. but everyone likes it, seems yeah. to like it. So maybe I'll and like it. I, I need know. to get it, which I been trying to do for the past year, what? is Bean Flicker by Oddside Ale. I want to do a versus because Bean Flicker is their um, blonde ale with coffee. Well, why didn't you tell me? I could get you one. The, I don't, because when I go to Mega Bath, it's usually six packs and I don't want a whole six pack. Well, go to Drake Party Center. <laughs> I found a, new, I found a new sweet spot <laughs> in Kalamazoo that sells singles of every single thing they sell. Yeah. And so it's been epic. I'm going to have to get a second job to afford all the beer that I'm going to buy. <laughs> so we have a white head starting to get some peaks and valleys in there. All small bubbles. About a finger and a half of head. Um, the bubbles on the side are more like bubble wrap. If we look at the color, uh, light, straw, yellow, lots of bubbles coming up. I do have some settlement. I can see through it. I can see. I can see my coaster right through yeah. mine. Okay, smell. Oh. <laughs> Smells good. Really? Yeah, almost like a, uh, obviously a roasted coffee bean, but almost like a pepper. That's not what I, what I thought that that was going to smell like at all. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. A good. Each their own. Yeah. I mean, if clearly. you're if you're into coffee beers, I think this is a good one for like a blonde. You know, a blonde that has coffee in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're. Over. I'm gonna let you take over. <laughs> I'll taste it because I don't know that it could. You know, it might not taste like a smooth wrap. Okay. Drink. It's. It's good. Oh, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm -mm. why? Why do people drink that and like it? It's good. Like, mm -mm. you're getting, like, to me, the coffee is like almost a pepper corn type of coffee in it's there. It's not even sweet like a snickerdoodle. Well, it does have some sweetness. I do pick up some really? sweetness. Really? Yeah. The snickerdoodle coffee would be, wouldn't that be some sugar and cinnamon? Yeah. I'm not getting sugar or cinnamon. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm going to just hand that right over to you so you can have two. Double fisting. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, up front I do get like a, a peppercorn coffee, then like a, a kind of biscuit weedy taste. What? Mm -mm. I'll let you talk. <laughs> In there? I don't. Wow. Boy, I'm glad I've never tried that. Why? Because I'd be like, eh, in front of them. 
<laughs> for me, I'm going to stick with my original rating that I gave it at like the beer festivals and stuff. Okay. To me, this is almost a perfect beer. 4.75 out of 5. Wow. For what it is, it's very, very, very good to me. Okay. Like I could drink this every day of the week. You are gross. And you're not getting the weird part, and I don't know how they do it. I'm not getting like the bitterness or anything from the coffee. And I don't know if that's because they add sugar in there, you know, for like a snickerdoodle okay. or something like that. Yeah. So I don't know if that's breaking up the bitterness and back from the coffee or how they get like that peppercorn coffee taste. I don't either. But I'm sorry. To me, but if you're into coffee, this is definitely one to pick up. It's not a smash you in your face coffee to coffee drinkers. How's that? There you go. So if you, if you do drink coffee, it's definitely worth picking up. And it was two twenty nine a can. Which I guess is a deal. Could be. I don't like it. I know. I don't like the You're smell. You're a poor sport. I don't like the... I, <laughs> I can't... I can't... I do usually try to... I just... Mm -mm. Yeah. Blonde ale with snickerdoodle coffee. If there was a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, <clears throat> not so much coffee, that'd be better. And I think that's why I wouldn't give it a perfect score. Because it does say it's snickerdoodle coffee, I would think it would be sweeter yeah. or yeah. have um, some cinnamon in there. And I don't get that. Well, I drink blonde <clears throat> ales. Right. So it's not like, it. I just, I don't know why you would even think that I'd be a good candidate to sit next to you to drink this. The torture on the camera, I guess. Yeah, take one for the oh, team. And I'm burping it now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find something else to drink now. Hmm. Do you have a sour that I could sip on? <laughs> I'm sure I could find one. So the average, there's been a little over 3,000 people that have reviewed this for an average of 3.73. Wow. Um, two of my friends have rated this for an average of 3.75. They, maybe they're coffee drinkers. Mike gave it a four. Wow. Well, you know, everyone has James their own says three point five. Okay. Everyone has their own opinion. Yeah. Yep. This <clears throat> isn't one for me. Yep. And that's okay. Because... Definitely a good one. All right. Cool. So that'll wrap up this video. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.